watching Mogul Live again this week. We've got a terrific uh, episode coming up talking with uh, leading Hollywood manager Tristan Marin. I'll say that again, Tristan Marin uh, on the Mogul Live. And this is an opportunity for any of you guys out there to not only watch, uh, Tristan's just jumped in, so we'll get Tristan in straight away. Uh, opportunity to be able to ask Tristan any questions, talk to her, as well as talk to uh, any of the guys at Mogul about what it is that we're actually doing. Tristan, it's uh, great to see you. Hi, David's how are you? You too, David. Good to see you in the chat. Jordan's in the chat. Hey, Jordan, how are you? Jordan. <laughs> of course, Jordan is uh, is rep by Tristan as well. Uh, Tristan, thanks very much for having a chat here today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's great to have you on Mogul Live. Uh, as we're just waiting for a few more people to uh, to join the chat as well, if there's anyone that you see that is joining our chat that is part of your group or lyrics join the chat hey lyric how are you uh feel free to give them a shout out sure i will <laughs> uh for anyone that's also just joining as well we're talking with uh hollywood manager Tristan morin uh Tristan, how many years have you been a talent manager uh gosh i've been doing this for over 10 years I've would you say 10 years and obviously the coronavirus is something that not everybody is aware or used to. Um, how much is that changing Hollywood at the moment? It's definitely affected the industry quite a bit. Um, you know, we're still seeing a few self tapes here and there um, and a little bit of voiceover projects, which is great. Um, but, you know, I would say residuals is the name of the game right now. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. With, what you're seeing at the moment, uh, obviously, coronavirus is one thing. But I mean, can you talk a little bit about what you're seeing as a manager that the big changes that are happening in Hollywood? Uh, Andrew, good to see you in the chat, Andrew. Uh, but the big the big changes that uh, that you're seeing? Yeah, you know, I think technology is playing a, a huge role um, in the progression of the industry, um, whether it be TikTok or you know, Instagram or um, the streaming services. That, that's really what it's been about. Yeah. Lyric, good to see you, Lyric. Lyric said hi as well, Tristan. Hi, Lyric. So, um, <laughs> any question, guys, as you've just joined the chat with Tristan Marin, manager, any questions you'd like to ask her and anyone that would like to hear about mobile as well? This is a really interactive mobile live. Uh, and we've got Tristan for the next 20 or about 15 minutes. So any acting or manager questions as well is really welcome. So um, we've just got someone who says, when will, so where will be Corona end? I think that's when will the coronavirus end? Um, I think that's the question we're all asking. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, so I noticed Jordan's in the chat and you obviously represent Jordan as well. Okay. Talk to me a, a little, one of the things we, we spoke about with Jordan is obviously, uh, getting representation uh, and Jordan spoke about a, a great story about obviously going to managers on his bike and, and agents but can you break down for anyone that's watching what's the difference between an acting manager and an acting agent you know the difference is we do a lot of the same things but the difference is um, that the agents are focusing more on contracts um, you know that's their great strength with managers, it's more of a, a personal development um, and personal relationship with their clients. Sure, sure. And Andrew, Andrew just made a really good question. It just was a couple of uh, sentences up, but he talked about TikTok. Um, can TikTok be something that helps careers? Would someone who's a TikTok star be more likely to sign with a manager or more likely to sign with an agent? Um, you know, I think that in terms of the social media, there, there is definitely agencies that are um, very interested um, in, you know, social media and, and all of that. Um, I actually just started working with someone um, that is huge on TikTok. Um, and for me, I thought that that was a great platform to jump off on. It's not everything, but it's definitely um, something that, that can be put in my toolbox, if you will, yeah. to help them get out. Um, Lyrics just asked a really good question as well. And this is something that relates to your job. Uh, 
do you think it's better to sign with a, an acting manager that is with, say, a big firm, but say has a lot of clients, or to be with an acting manager that's with a, a more boutique office, but only has a few clients? I think it's best to be with um, a manager or an agent that's crazy about you, crazy excited about you. So whether that be in a boutique um, company or in a large company, um, it's more about, you know, the rep that's actually working with you. Um, and, and that's what will get you in the door. Yeah, sure, sure. We talked about, obviously, you said Hollywood's changed quite a bit earlier in the chat. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Jen. Uh, we talked about it's changing. Can you see moguls technology being something that really helps the, the community or helps out the, uh, the industry in the future? I think it can be a tremendous help. Um, you know, not only is it offering a community, which uh, the entertainment industry actors, all of that are always looking for, um, you know, it's, it's also, you know, just dealing with the technology, which, as we talked about before, is, is really what's uh, going to be progressing yep. this industry. Yep. yep. Kevin, good to see you. Kevin's just welcomed you as well there, Trisanne, for all the... Hi, Kevin. Uh, for all the new people that have joined as well, we're talking with Hollywood manager, Trisanne Marin, very interactive mobile live. So any question you like, uh, just put it through in, in the chat. So Trisanne, one of the things that I mentioned, Jordan's one of your clients uh, and he's in the chat at the moment, but obviously uh, another client, you've got Greg, he's a series regular on, on Daybreak. When your clients are on set as a talent manager, how often are you on set? You know, it really just depends upon uh, the set. Um, for me, I tend to lean towards, you know, getting the next job. So I like to be in the office and doing that. Um, but I do love to see my clients um, doing their thing and, and being where they should be. Um, so that's really great. I also like to, you know, just check out um, – how they're doing in person um, and, and just show them some support um, and, and, you know, do all of that. So. Yeah. Well, I, some, I can I mean, see the some question. Some sets are a little bit more closed set. So that's not always uh, they're They're not always um, wanting everybody to be on set, but. Yeah. Well, your answers have been great because the, the questions are coming in like thick and fast from our, our community here already. Um, just one question that's come up a couple of times is how do you search out talent? How do I search out talent? Um, you know, whether it be them online, whether they're sending um, submissions, I always go through every one of my submissions um, because you never know where there's a, a diamond um, diamond just waiting for me. Um, I also, you know, I'm always getting, uh, submissions and, and just that type of thing. So where do I not get them? <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. If you're an actor and you're wanting to get in contact with you, what's the best way to do that? Is it to email you? Is it to phone you up? Is it to go to invite you to a showcase? I mean, what do you think is the best way to someone to put themselves in front of you as a talent? I think email is always great um, because then I'm able to, you know, see exactly what we're working with. So that'd be headshot, resume, um, a, a reel, um, tapes, you know, that, that you've done previous auditions from. That's always great as well. Yeah. Hey, Marilyn, good to see you as well. Uh, we're talking with Tristan Marin here. Um, a really good question, I think that's a really simple question too, which uh, a lot of our community would love to hear is, what do you think makes a good headshot? I think it's simply you on your best day. So we're looking for a shot that looks like you, um, but you know, you're looking good <laughs> in the shot. Sure, sure. How regularly should you get a headshot? Meaning when you talk about like uh, one that looks like you, I mean, is it once every 12 months, once every two years, once every two weeks? What would you recommend? So it really just depends um, on the person um, and if they've changed their hair quite a bit or, um, you know, done any drastic changes or just simply the shot working as well as we thought 
you know, the agent or I thought it was going to be working. So, you know, you always have to switch it up. Yeah. Yeah. And, and just quickly on that as well, just talking about talent, Kevin's made a, a good point as well. Uh, you're a member of the community. You've signed up as a community. Hey, Keegan, mm -hmm. uh, you know, is technology like that that Mogul is bringing, is that do you think where managers will be able to go and scout talent? Hey, Barry, good to see you. Could you repeat that? Because you're breaking, apparently. Oh, sorry. Tristan. One more time. Okay, sure, sure. Um, so with the Mogul community, which you have signed up on, do you think that yeah. could be a place that managers could go and scout talent to? Absolutely. You know, I'm always looking for good talent. Um, you know, I'm, I may not, it depends if I'm, I'm actually going to pick them up, but you know, I'm always have an eye out and I know all the all reps um, that I know always are looking for something special. So yeah, I mean, this is the easier that you can find, um, you know, someone that that's great, that is ready to go, the better. Yeah. Yeah. And now we've got a, um, Marilyn's just come up with a, I'm going to read it to you, Trisan, so you can hear it. Um, are things changing drastically that managers cutting half their roster just as agencies are going under? This is what I was told yesterday by my manager, which is now not my manager. So I think what Marilyn's trying to say is, are things changing as drastically in the management side as they are with, with the acting agent side? Um, you know, I would say that the, the reps are going through their roster, they're taking time um, that they might not necessarily have. Um, managers and agents often go through their roster after pilot season to see how they've, you know, how all their clients have done. Um, so there's often some droppings during that time. Um, this obviously has been a very strange pilot season. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think there's just a lot of re-evaluation, whether it be on the, the rep side um, or the side. Um, but hopefully that's gonna be for the best, um, that we can all just kind of reposition yeah. ourselves and, and um, get where we need to be going. But I'm sorry. Well, to hear I, I've about got that. to say, Tristan, I've got to say, like, the questions are really, like, thick and fast here as well. So if there's any that jumps out for you that you'd like to answer first, um, Jordan, Jordan's connected. And he That's said, <clears throat> and again, Jordan, you were on the show uh, about two and a half weeks ago, which was great to speak with you. Uh, Jordan is the uh, one of the series regulars on Huge in France on Netflix. But Jordan's written, in this time, uh, where the industry has slowed down from the unfortunate current events, how can actors develop and improve themselves during this time? How can actors improve this time? Is that what you said? Yeah. Sorry, yeah. it's just a little bit of a bad connection. So, okay. Um, that's a great question. I love that question. Um, you know, I have been recommending my clients to watch TV, watch films as much as they can, because you do want to be seeing what everybody else is doing and, and who's working and be watching the greats. Um, so I think that's very, very important. Um, two, I think it's reading um, as well, whether it be, you know, reading for fun or, um, you know, whatever it is, um, or, or books on acting. I think that's great as well, just to get another um, another viewpoint. Um, yeah. and then thirdly, I would say is just kind of going back to what we were saying is to be looking at those goals, whether that be professionally or personally, really looking at them, making sure you're on the tr track for success, um, and getting those rituals down, um, whether, you know, whatever it be, uh, that's what I'm doing right now, but you know, that type of stuff. So, so that you're, you know, really good for, for when you so go back. Use it, using the time. Into the fields. You, and, and I think Mar Marilyn's uh, summed it up really beautifully. She said, basically, uh, work on your weaknesses in this time. Yeah. A, uh, yeah, a, a, a quick question yeah. just on those yeah. goal setting exactly. is, um, 
talk to us about the relationship between a talent manager and their clients, say the actor, and goals. How does that work? Uh, Trisanne, I think we're, we're just getting a little bit of technical problems. Uh, is this any better, Tristan? Okay, it's a little is bit this... better, yeah. Okay, let it, let us know. Let us know if we need to uh, just give it a couple of a couple of minutes, just to kind of go back in because it's been a great chat so far. Um, the questions, everybody's really enjoying your conversation. And for anyone that's joining us, because we've got a few new people, Nomad, Tasha, great to see you guys. We're talking with Hollywood talent manager Trisanne Marin. Uh, Trisanne, just uh, asking about the relationship between an actor and the manager and how goals work. Oh, we've just lost Trisanne very temporarily. We're going to get Trisanne back any minute now. Uh, Lyric's got a great question. Uh, do you see Mogul as a tool you can use? Lisa, how did you find Jordan? Uh, these are all questions we're going to get as soon as we get Trisanne back in the chat. Uh, again, with, with uh, Hollywood talent manager Trisanne Marin. Guys, even if uh, you've got a spare 30 seconds now and you haven't found... Uh, your way to the mogul website as well, mogulproductions.com. Uh, that'll certainly make it even easier to, to understand when we're talking about the mogul platform and what it actually is. Uh, but again, we'll get, uh, we'll get Trisanne Marin, Hollywood manager, back on the chat. Hey, Anne, good to see you. You've joined the chat too. We're just waiting for Trisanne to come back any minute. Uh, we've got a few technical things. Uh, but otherwise, guys, as we're doing the chat, just uh, feel free to ask anything we need to. Kevin's put it up as well, mogulproductions.com, just as, we, uh, as we're going to get Trisanne back any minute. And again, using the, uh, the, the platform as well, for any uh, artists that are here too, you can sign up on the mogul platform. Trisanne's just jumped back in. And we'll just find Trisanne here. So guys, just bear with me as we just add Trisanne back onto the chat. And we're just connecting now. So we should be back speaking with Trisanne any minute now. Hello. Trisanne, we've got you back. That was just some, We had that a was quick some intermission here. Yeah, intermission, exactly. Uh, the questions have been great. Everyone's really enjoying, obviously, what you're saying. But we were, we were just quickly talking about the relation between the talent manager and the actual talent themselves, so the actor. How does that work between the two of you? relationship between us you know is 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 definitely um you know one where we're in working relation with to our goals in and, relation you know, to goals always working yeah. to our goals and, and working together so you know it's it's um it's fun to know my clients um and know you know what their what their real passions are and, and all of that um so i i really enjoy working on a personal level if we could strip it back a little bit for anyone that wants to get an idea about signing with a talent manager, uh, what's the first goal that you want to set or how soon do you set goals with, with your talent? Uh, Trisanne, we got you again. Uh, how, how soon do we set goals? Yeah. You know, I like to have that be one of our first. Meeting. Yeah, I think we might be uh, getting a little more technical issues there, Tristan. Hold on. We've got, we've got time. We can be patient. Lyric's got a, another great question for you when you're ready. Okay, guys, what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick intermission again, just uh, while Trisanne reboots. Uh, again, this is just a, a small technical. Um, again, <laughs> Kevin's put a great thing up, the uh, technical difficulties called by Corona. Uh, what we'll do in this point, if we're still having trouble with Trisanne, we might just take an intermission for five minutes 
and we'll just go, we need to sort of reboot or simply reset a modem and then come back in five minutes. So, and Andrew's make a good point as well. Uh, but if you can just bear 30 seconds, I'm sure Tristan will come back into the chat. But like I said, if this happens one more time, well, we might just take a five minute and we're just going to add Tristan now to the chat again, see if this, uh, this is any better. Talking to Hollywood talent manager Tristan Moon, she's the senior talent manager at LA Management, been in the industry for 10 years, even uh, some of her clients, Jordan Faho is... Uh, Trisan, you're back. I love how we're talking about technology and it's failing us over, <laughs> at least failing me over here. Sorry about that. No, no, we're, uh, we've got time. Um, so we were just talking about the relationship with setting goals uh, with your clients and what point do you set goals with them and what are the goals that you like to set? You know, I definitely sit down with them um, and have that be one of our first couple of meetings. Because uh, we need to know exactly where we're going um, with with these goals, um, and whatever it be, you know, we need to be on the same page, um, and and that's where the fun comes in is is setting those goals and seeing them be achieved. Yeah, and and what about the I, I suppose where goals link with success in Hollywood? If I can ask you this question. What do you think is the one reason why you've been in this industry for 10 years? What is the one reason you see actors don't make it or an actor is, is in Hollywood for 10 years and then they, you know, they leave and they've got a bad feeling about the place. Why do actors not succeed in your, in your eyes? I think it's, um, I think it's when ourselves um, and the problem with not believing in yourself is how the heck are you going to get, you know, these producers, uh, to believe in you. So I think that's the real problem. That's the thing that you've seen as the through line that, you know, time and time again is letting people down. So you've got to believe in yourself if you want to be successful. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Believe yeah. in what you're doing and, and believe that you can do that. Yeah. Lyric had a question earlier, which was, what is the hardest part of your job? Um, what's the hardest part? The hard part would be, you know, calling an actor and, and telling them, you know, that, that they didn't get the role um, because I always, you know, I, I get invested in this. And so I, you know, I'm always feeling um, the, the sadness that my, my clients are feeling as well, um, which I don't think actors always realize um, that reps get invested as well. So I think that would be the hardest thing. Um, but the good thing about that is um, it means that the next role is probably theirs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were talking about sort of uh, some of your clients, which, which are on the chat at the moment, and the sort of the journey that they have. Technically, on average, I mean, how long do you sort of stick with a client? I know one of your clients, Greg, you scouted him when he was eight years old. Uh, other people in Hollywood, they sometimes change managers fairly regularly. What's that relation? Um, you know, I am looking for what I'd almost say is, is a marriage. I'm looking for um, a, a client where I can go to the top with them. Um, you know, sometimes that doesn't work out um, and, and that's okay. Um, but, you know, I can have a client for my whole career um, or just be working with them for a short amount of time and just not see a, a connect. Yeah. Yeah. Case by case basis. Yeah. Yeah. A, a really good point that I've read that you made about a year and a half ago, which you talked about a toolbox. So anyone that's in Hollywood as an actor that wants to have a career, you talked about a toolbox. Can you talk about that to, to some of the people in, in the chat? Right, exactly. I like to talk about um, having the actors fill my toolbox, um, if you will. And, and, and what I mean by that is, um, you know, the more that they can be doing on their end, you know, in terms of um, helping them seed, whether it be um, a, a new side project, a, um, 
you know, some, some extra new classes, um, pushing along on a, a social media platform, whatever it is, that can help me sell them more, um, which is exactly what we want to do in the end. So. Yeah. When you talk about the social media side, like what an actor can do to increase, hey, John, good to see you in the chat. Good to see you as well, Rocky. Um, you recently mentioned you signed someone from TikTok. Did you scout yeah. them from TikTok? Yeah. Did you scout them from TikTok? Were you looking online or did they approach you? This was actually through a referral, um, which referrals are always great. Uh, but that referral definitely knew what I was looking for. Uh, you know, uh, the person that referred them um, knew what I was, what I was looking for. Um, and, you know, that's always helpful to, to be able to sell that right in the beginning. Are you actively looking on social media for talent? For example, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Is that how you scout talent at the moment? Um, you know, I always keep my eye out. Um, I, I do like to focus on my clients and keeping it, you know, um, small and really working with them. But there's um, someone that, that that's awesome that I just can't refuse. Then, I, of course, yeah. Yeah. And I'm not sure whether we sort of briefly touched on this, but the casting director's role, a casting director, uh, they're the one that obviously casts the actor. Um, what, what's a casting director looking for? You, you obviously get one of your talent an audition. They go to the, the casting director to audition. What are they looking for in an actor? You know, casting director is really wanting, um, they're wanting an actor that that's going to make them them look great. Um, so simply, it's that, yeah, just that that look like they're the best casting director ever. <laughs> yeah, and that they're yeah. they're really great at their job. Yeah, lyrics just pulled up a question. We've probably got about two minutes left with uh, with Tristan. So if anyone's got any questions, uh, regardless, or anyone wants to talk about Mogul, their experience on the platform or just how they can get in contact with Tristan. We've got about two minutes, so just put it up. Lyric's question is, uh, were you ever an actor, Tristan? And has that helped you? Yeah. Yeah, in the past, um, as, um, as a child um, and, and teenager, I was definitely acting. Um, and I think that has really helped me. Um, I understand when I'm looking at my clients, um, you know, what they're going through. And um, when I'm looking at their audition tapes, um, I, I know exactly what to tell them if there, yeah. there needs to be a tweak. So if, it's a greater understanding. If we were to sort of condense all that, um, and that's a very lovely message. Thank you, Trisanne, for helping join. Oh, thank you, Anne. <laughs> My pleasure. Uh, My pleasure. If, if we were to talk a little bit about um, what is your best advice for an actor in Hollywood, you mentioned before one of the reasons you think they fail is because actors just don't believe in themselves. But what's your best advice uh, for the industry? Um, best advice would be, you know, to, to set your goals and go after them. Um, and, and not change that for anyone. Yeah. Set your goals and go after them. Yeah. 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 We've got it. This is probably the, the last question if we can get for, uh, for Trisanne, cause I know she's on a tight, uh, timeline at the moment, but if there's any other questions just in the chat, just bring them through. Trisanne is also on the mogul community. So if you'd like to get in contact with Trisanne, you can message her. Sign up mogulproductions.com. As an artist, you can make your, your profile and then there's the opportunity to be able to direct message as well. So if you're looking at being able to link with Trisan, you can do that as well, either now or in the future. Uh, one, one final question from my side, Trisan, as well is, for any actors out there that get nervous, whether it be they're getting nervous because they're going to an audition or they're nervous on set, do you have any advice how to control that? I think meditate is awesome. Many of my clients are doing that. Um, and, and they, 
they think it helps so much. So um, that's a great way of centering yourself um, and, and just going in there. And I think also to remember that vulnerability is key. So whenever you're going into an audition, um, it's great and okay to be vulnerable. And, and that's in fact um, what makes an interesting actor. That's great advice. That's great advice. Last chance, anyone, for a, uh, a quick message to Trisanne. Otherwise, mogulproductions.com. Join the community and you can direct message Trisanne as well. Otherwise, Senior Talent Manager at LA Management. Trisanne, it's been a real pleasure to, to speak with you. Uh, thank you very much for coming on Mogul Live. We'd love to have you back. Absolutely. Thank you so much, James. I'm going to have to hold you. <laughs> Lyri lyrics just killed us at the last minute with, with one, one more question. If I could just okay. steal one more question for you. Just, I know we got really, yeah. uh, lyrics just wrote in, uh, what motivated you to be a manager? Um, simply to make dreams happen, to really be a part of that. Um, yeah. If I could just elaborate on that, that's a really nice answer, especially for a manager. If you're an, an actor and you've got, say, a choice between two different managers, what's your advice in how they should pick a manager? Again, one manager might be saying one thing, another manager says the same thing, but what, what do you think is advice to pick a good manager? Well, for one, talk is cheap. You know, what a rep says, you never know. You never know what intention are bad. And, and usually it's, it's great intentions. Um, but, you know, we're all, we, we don't have a crystal ball. Um, so we don't know what's going to happen necessarily. We can only do what's, you know, our, our best guess and get behind that. Um, but to answer a question, I would say it's if you like the person, if you truly like them um, and can see yourself trusting and believing in them, then that manager you should be with. Yeah, and, and Kevin's put a good point at the end as well, one that truly believes in you as well, uh, which I yeah, can tell with, yeah. with, with all your clients, that's why you've uh, signed them. Lyrics just said, thanks, Trisanne. Trisanne, this is the, the proper goodbye at this point. Thank you so much for your, uh, for your time. Your insight's Thank been you. fantastic. <laughs> thanks, Lee. Thanks very much, awesome. Trisanne, okay, and hope goodbye. to see you on Mogul Live again. Bye. Thanks so much. Okay, bye.